Today on the channel, we got a double dose of Batman with McFarlane Toy Store exclusive gold label Batman and Two Face as Batman. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another McFarlane Toys unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we're back to the DC Multiverse with a double dose of Batman, kind of. But for all your McFarlane Toys needs, make sure you end up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. However, these two, I pulled off of the McFarlane Toy Store, Todd. Todd sitting on the couch once again for these. You never know when he might chime in. But I did pick these up at McFarland Toy Store. I ordered a bunch of different things off there. During the Christmas season, they had daily sales deals. You had 10% off codes. A lot of stuff flying around. I jumped in and got both of these for like $20 combined, which is a heck of a deal there. Really enjoyed the regular edition, I guess we'll call it, of this Batman. Didn't want to pull the trigger on just a different head, but for 10 bucks, I said, okay, I'm going to pull the trigger. Same thing with this one. Don't know anything about Two-Face's Batman. I've seen this at one of my local targets. That's the only place I ever see this one. I always passed on it, though. It just wasn't for me. Maybe a long game. Well, $10 long game. I'll jump in, and that's exactly where we are here today. So, of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I guess we'll start off with... Two-Face as Batman, all oh, Two-Face, one of the most evil villains in, of course, Batman's rogue gallery. We've got the red and black attack going on right here, looking very interesting. Got the extra hands as well, card, everything. Hopefully it'll tell us a little bit more of the story about Two-Face as Batman. It does say, from Batman Reborn. And then you got Two-Face as Batman on the side once again, 22 points of articulation. Big old comic book glamour shot back there, looking a little creepy, I would say. Nothing too fun, though. Two Faces Batman, Batman Reborn. Pretty much all the hits being played right there, as we see. But let's pull them out and see what old Two Face Batman's up to here. What happened? Why did it go this way? See you later. Goodbye. Why did things go so south for Two Faces Batman? We're going to find out. But bam, see you later once again. See you later. Goodbye. We do get the McFarland DC stand. We'll see it before. We, or we've seen it before. We'll see it again, I should say. But let's see what it says for Two Faces Batman. Real name Harvey Dent. A prominent, well educated district attorney, Harvey Dent fought valiantly to uphold the law and make the city a better place. In any other city, it would have worked. Not in Gotham. A place where greed and corruption stretch from the depths of Crime Alley to the shimmering heights of the mayor's office. Dent spiral into Gotham's madness came swiftly after a criminal threw acid in his face. Never a good day. Leaving half of it horribly scarred, seeking refuge in the underbelly of Gotham. The name Harvey Dent and all that's good stood for was lost, and Two Face rose from the darkness. Todd, I hate it. Yes, you heard it right. I hate it. I want specific. If we're going to do a Two Faces Batman, we need to know what the heck's going on. Not everybody has the time or, uh, you know, the access to the comic books, whatever you want to say it is. Uh, I don't know the story here, but I would love to hear a little blurb about the story somewhere. And I guess that's what Google is for at the end of the day. But would have liked a little bit more information. I can't be alone in that. But let's take a look at old Two-Face Batman. Obviously a very easy repaint. Just paint him a different color. Maybe mix up the head a little bit. And voila, you got a new figure. And with that, of course, comes uh, twist ties all over the place. And very sticky plastic. Or not sticky, greasy plastic is what we got going on here. So Todd, I don't know what's up with this greasy plastic. It's a dangerous game, I do think. It's not quite a wicked game. We leave that to uh, Chris Isaac, I think is who it was that sang that one. But we're going to pop it all out. We're going to get these hands out. We're going to get these twist ties off of him. Oh, my gosh, some of the strongest tape. And Todd did tell me offline, off camera, that he gets his tape from Cambodia, of all places. Yes, Cambodia, I heard that right. Full of cannibals out there, he said. And I don't know. That's a stereotype. I don't know if that's right. See you later over to the side. But he does say he gets his world-famous strong tape from Cambodia, of all places. And he said, you know, where the cannibals live. And I said, Todd, come on now. There's not everybody in Cambodia. See you later. Is a cannibal. We know that isn't the case. But that's what he told me. If you're from Cambodia, let me know. You're a cannibal? I don't know. Let me know. 
But uh, okay, we're going to get him out of the package, straightened up a little bit. Dive into the accessories first, and we're going to take a look at these hands here. Now we got red-gloved hands and black-gloved hands. Truly a two-face right here, or a two-hands. Uh, I've been called a two-hander myself a few times uh, over the years. Uh, but interesting here with the Fist of Fury and a trigger hand, I guess. No bullets, no weapons, no guns, no nothing here, so we do get that. On this side, we get another trigger hand, and we get a splayed-out hand. We get a little splayed-out hand and a fist. Oh, fist. We're playing all the hand hits here, though. I do appreciate that, Todd McFarlane. Looking good right there. But now we get down to Batman as Two-Face. Hmm, the Cambodian Special is what we're going to call this one here. Uh, interesting. Interesting is the name of the game. Like I said, it is reused from prior editions, especially this cape. But the red and black dynamic is pretty wild on this one. There's no doubt about it. Red and black attack all day long here. Uh, red and black suit, of course, cut down the middle, except on the head. It's like, should these be reversed? I, it just feels... I don't know. It, feel, it feels wild. It feels like it's not full on Two-Face because it's got a mix. It's got a little black on this side and black on this side, red on this side, red on this side. Is that the way it's supposed to be? Is that a mistake? Is it an error? I don't think so. I'm sure this is the way it's supposed to be. But for me, I want it to just be black on one side, red on the other side. Obviously, that's not the hell it is here. But we've got the Batman head. Of course, new head here. you got the Harvey Dent acid burn side there. He's got the charred side on the bluish black side. Looking pretty ugly, looking devious. Truly looking like a Two-Face. Uh, looking interesting. Then you get the normal face on this side in the red. So really is Two-Face adventure. We're here for that. Black on the arms on the right arm, I should say, left on the red. The Batman logo, black and red, split down the middle. Same thing with his belt. Same thing with his shoes. Got to be difficult dressing. I guess you just buy two pairs and you go back and forth between the two. I guess it's not as complicated as it sounds. Articulation all the way around on this one, of course, with the arm. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. Very tight, nice joints on this one. Hands back and forth. Got the big old fist of fury I talked about. Got the hula hoop. A little action there. No real traditional waist, a little bit of movement, but not a ton. Big old two-faced Batman splits. Legs do go up. Bend to the knee, double jointed knees, of course. Ankles up and down, not really much side and side. And then, of course, the Todd McFarlane toe articulation. Todd, are you kidding me? He's got both of his socks off on the couch. If I could just swing this camera around. And he's just wiggling those toes on the edge of the couch. Just wiggling them with that toe articulation. He's a wild man, Todd. You get him on the couch. Starts talking about tape from Cambodia. Starts wiggling his toes. Who knows what's next at this point. Uh, but this is an interesting one. I don't know. I wish I had more of a connection to the character. Obviously, I know Two-Face very well. I just don't know him in the Batman costume. And I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But it's an interesting one. That's what we'll say. And by not knowing what's going on, I'm not paying full price for it. But around $10? All right, I'll take it. I'll take the plunge. I'll jump in. And that's exactly what I did with the Two-Face Batman. Now, we turn our attention to another Batman I don't know anything about, but I really do like the colors of the suit on this one. That's what made me buy the original version. And now here I am like a sucker. Yeah, a sucker, Todd, buying the second version here. But didn't want to pay up on the uh, McFarlane website like a year ago when this one came out. I was like, there's no way I'm paying 30 bucks for this just with a head swap. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Pass, hard pass. Well, about a year later, $10. Man, sign me up all day long. And twice on Sunday. There you go. Gold label, like I said, McFarland Toy Store exclusive. Uh, DC Multiverse down here, 22 points articulation, all the bells and whistles. Batman of Zur and R. R. Like a pirate. Unmasked. Batman. R.I.P., which means rest in peace for those uh, keeping track at home. Same thing on the side here. On the back, little glamour shot. He's getting ready to swing that, ba that baseball bat like a young Dave Parker. Oh, shout out to Oakland A's legend Dave Parker. I think he was on the Pirates, too, but we don't talk about those years. We talk about the A's years for old Dave Parker. Holding it down in the DH position for a lot of time at the end of his career. See you later. Goodbye. Well, let's see what's going on in this card. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've uh, seen this one and uh, did the old one. See you later. Oh, right off the screen. Hugging the screen there. McFarlane stand once again. Been so long. Hopefully it doesn't give me just a generic blurb. Hopefully we get some meat and potatoes. Give me the potatoes with it and throw some carrots in, too. Got to eat our vegetables. Batman, Bruce Wayne. Oh, my gosh. War and Peace back here. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, oh. Okay. As a child, Bruce Wayne watches his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's crime alley. Traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman. To become the ultimate vigilante, the Dark Knight disciplined his mind and body. What about the soul? What about the soul? To reach the pinnacle of mental and physical superiority in his relentless pursuit of justice, 
Some time ago, I, okay, well, we got old story. Now we get to the new story here, it looks like. Some time ago, Bruce Wayne took part in an isolation experiment overseen by Dr. Simon Hurt, which is funny. I'm in a bit of an isolation experiment on the weekends when I'm down here filming all my videos for the week. And it's uh, instead of Dr. Simon Hurt, I got Dr. Lemmy Ace and Domino all watching me, keeping track of things, keeping guard of things as well. It's a wild time. Batman and I aren't as different as I did think. Uh, in which the psychiatrist gave Bruce the post-hypnotic phrase, Zer and Ra. Oh my gosh, I could tell you a story about a hypnotist, but I'll save it. I'll save it. Uh, when heard by Bruce years later, this trigger phrase shatters his mind, leaves him wandering Gotham City in a daze. Always ready with a backup plan, though. Batman had previously developed a persona within himself. Oh my gosh, always thinking. A Batman without Bruce Wayne and stitches together a new bat suit, calling himself the Batman of Zur and R. R like a pirate. That's exactly what that is. Uh, I do like that we got a little bit of both sides of the story there. So, Todd, uh, you're back on my good, uh, my good list here for Christmas. There it is. But there he is in the plastic prison. Let's bust him out. Let's get these twist ties through here. Not too many on this one, it looks like. Is that the only one? This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Just one at the waist. That's all we really needed. That's all we needed. There's that. And a little knife action. See you later. Goodbye, twist tie. Add it to the pile. Got to add it to the pile. We're going to go full Scrooge McDuck at the end of the year. It's going to be an all-timer of a video. Just stay tuned for that. Going to buy a cheap kiddie pool this summer, and I'm going to go for a dip in twist ties. It's going to be crazy. But we do got Batman of Inzura. Arr, there it is. But we do get two weapons with him. We get a baseball bat with spikes in it. Talk about a melee weapon here. Uh, it reminds me of the Simpsons episode back in the day. He's got a board with a nail in it. Kind of like that. I uh, got the gray wrappings on the handle against the brown baseball bat. Bunch of nails going on through there. And then we got a very primitive looking knife here. It looks like he stitched this together. Got some brown wrapping around it. He's ready to take on the world in his new persona. No doubt there. But now we get down to old Batman himself. What do we think about this one? What do we think? It's a weird Batman face here. He's got a little 5 o'clock shadow going on. He's got the black hair, the black eyebrows. Eyebrows are up, so he's at attention here. He's showing off his teeth, but it's... It's not good. I don't know if he's got an overbite or what. You know, you got to take care of that if you can. And his parents were fairly wealthy. He should have had braces. Uh, who knows what's going on there. But he's got a little bit of an overbite going on. A little weird teeth. Like he's really grunting and bearing it is what he's doing there. Who knows? And then we got the costume here going on. He's got the stitching throughout going there. It makes sense with the story. He stitched this thing together. Got the maroon color against the yellow and the purple. It definitely feels and looks like Batman, but boy, it does look striking. It does look different, and I really do like the colors on this one. A very good color palette going here. Definitely feels different, but at the same time feeling the same as other Batman figures. So very fun all in all. He's got his tactical belt there in yellow around there. Got the purple boots going there. Uh, interesting one. He's got those Batman forearm guards that we're so accustomed to. Two gripping hands out of the package, even with an up-down hinge as well here. Not a bad-looking Batman figure, but very reminiscent of the last one, which we'll compare here in a second. Of course, articulation, don't need to walk through with this one. It's going to be identical to the Two-Face Batman, so we don't need to do that again. Uh, but an interesting-looking one. But, of course, the selling point of this one is the massless head. For me, not worth 30 bucks. For me, worth $10. I will pick it up at that price. And here's the regular edition that was like $20 or so. Definitely better, but the same exact figure with just a different head. That's the only differences between these two. So I think most people probably prefer this one, but it's cool to have this one as well. Not sure where I'm going to put it. I guess I'll put them side by side in my collection somewhere. Uh, but some deep cuts here, no doubt about it. Some of the deepest cuts McFarlane's ever got us. And uh, the first cut is the deepest. I believe Sheryl Crow said that one time. Who knows? Somebody fact check that too. I'm not sure. Not up on my Sheryl Crow like I probably should be. Nah, shouldn't be, but... Batman, Two-Face, an interesting twosome, dare I say a gruesome twosome. But for 20 bucks combined, not a bad day at the old office, that's for sure. Yep, Todd, that's true. So there you go. So there it is. What are your guys' thoughts? You pick either of these two up. Can you enlighten me on any of the story right here with this Two-Face? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. Yes, it's true. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support the channel. You do get early access to both YouTube channel videos, bonus content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. It's all going on over there, the old Patreon channel. Patreon, your best way to support this fair YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProSTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Batman and Two Faces Batman, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.